classic Ford uh, Crown Victoria wagon, LTD wagon. I guess you call it an LTD. I think. I believe these in the day were made in Mexico because of the fact that they are made in Mexico. The fact that it's a large car didn't matter. But they rearranged the laws because it was idiotic to make it uh, make a fucking car that they make so many of them um, but anyway um, they soon soon after I think discontinued this anyway this is kind of the later um, version of this car and we're right across from Voodoo Donuts and the people there get try to get a thousand dollars an hour each one of the um, things all those tourists are all going to buy lots and lots of donuts. But anyway, not pretty in great shape. It's got the good um, spoked wheels that are nice to have on a good like this. Simplify. This person was a marine, or at least they had a one of those stickers on the car. LTD Country Squire LX. Of course, it is an LTD. I think they, when they switched out, they started calling them LTD convicts. But anyway, um, it's one of the last of them. Could call a family truckster. But here we are, across from Voodoo Donuts, as I said again, the Pally's Delta. Go there for anonymous sex, a lot of da. And on the corner is where um, Gus Van Zant made his first um, big movie that kind of got him the chance to make uh, Drugstore Cowboy, which gave him the chance to make other movies. Like I said, Family Drugstore. Nice. Most likely made in America, but they were making them for a short while in Mexico because of the fact that they had these environmental laws that say you have to do this, that, the other thing. And this is the last of the style from the 60s into the like 90, like from 67, they came up with the magic door and the magic door this door here it will go either way you can pull it pull it open like this or it can be pulled down that way and I am going to go this way because <laughs> I'm sure that person doesn't have any interest in my bicycle but I don't know and the people that hang out outside of Hoodoo Donuts know that all those people buy the donuts in cash so what do you do? You hang out there and bother the tourists and they don't know any better. So they might be likely to hand you some money and they go off and go buy heroin with it. And anyway, doesn't seem to be a lot of people hanging out, out there bothering the tourists. I have a guy that's standing out there who looks like security. Although, I don't know. He's standing with his and like back this here like he have some sort of weapon back here. Actually it looks like he's got his fingers in or is that just his hand back there? Look like he's like pointing his finger pointing finger such a way so that he can simulate like he's got a gun back there. Um, anyway, um, also another thing, they did away with this style of roof as well with the next generation of, yeah, did away the body. Basically, it doesn't look like a 1960s or 1970s car, but basically it was much the same as the 